in a world where everything is normal and safe, there's a group of guys willing to make it scary. Their names have been changed to protect the innocent, but not the perpetrators. Steve. Lance the Neighbor. and Larry, the electrician, got together and decided that they would make their community a little less safe and a little scarier. So here's the first room, which is nearly done and looks really freaking cool, but takes a lot of time. All the spider webbing, that took like four and a half hours of work. Finish off this ceiling make it so that it drops down right over this wall and we can have an uh, actor back there to do a scare right over the top and that'll be really cool so this will be Jason mask room where we've got 15 Jason masks and when we come through they'll be all over the walls and we'll have some hanging from the ceiling so as you walk through you'll have to part through them cauldron light here just like you saw back in the last hall so come around the corner here, and we'll do a false wall with a slit in it, like just kind of an overlapping slit. And we'll have a chainsaw guy back there with a skill saw with no blade, piece of cardboard with duct tape so it looks and kind of sounds like it. And he'll come out and get people and chase them out around the corner and to the end of the haunted house. Me and Lance started talking haunted house shit fucking months ago. Oh, yeah, a couple months ago in the yeah. summertime. Hanging out with Chris, started rolling on some yeah. haunted house stuff. This would be the third year that it's actually haunted house. Lance well, was a very major contributor to this. It wouldn't have been possible without him. He has three years worth of stuff accumulated. In but, uh, well, I've got the Jason. I've got, uh, he's pulling him from machete. Got the witch. Yep. Uh, she cauldron. The cauldron, right. That's cool. Uh, that's a pretty good one. And then the third one is uh, a girl with the cut off. We call her she bitch. Yeah, the she bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what would look good? Yeah, we went and designed what the pathway through. We did it on paper. Designed how we we're gonna go through, which got revised like three or four times. But you know, then when we knew what we were doing, where we were gonna send people through, we could then go, okay, where the scare is gonna fit best. You know, where do we have room to put a scare or? dead space behind one of these false walls where we can use a guy. Guy that comes over the top from behind the hidden wall and we're going to use uh, kind of a spray bottle effect so they feel like they're getting sprayed with fake blood. It should be pretty cool. Larry here who's going to lend the expertise to the chain guy scare. Uh, bloody ghouled out and it's going to be completely pitch black in there. Their focal point is actually on a on a demon that's further down the hall. He's in a recess. And nobody can really see him until he pulls on the chains and activates a light and then he'll be right there, kind of in their face. There's a long corridor with a bunch of Jason masks. This was Steve's idea. Yeah, that looks good. Sick, uh, looks great. And the Jason masks are hung over all, all the walls, kind of hung from the ceilings and one of the Jason masks, somebody's actually going to be hidden behind a false wall wearing one. And as people walk by, they'll be unsuspecting. And, and the decoy Jason at the right. end of the hall. Right. No. Seven foot or six and a half foot tall Jason <laughs> at the end of the Jason mask hall. Which is really the crown jewel of the animatronics. Yeah. That's when we'll have somebody pop out from the side and definitely get them. And then you're around the corner there into the final scare. Well, we go through that one corridor. There was a zigzag corridor with an uh, orange cauldron light hanging in it. And that'll be all filled with fog, and there'll be strobe lights coming from both sides of the hall. And when you round that corner, there's a guy hidden behind a false wall, which will be our chainsaw scares, which is just going to be a skill saw with a cardboard cutout of a blade using duct, duct tape to look like a blade. And uh, no blade in the skill saw, just the sound of it rotating. So. Goes through, you know, they can't get any candy until 
then make it through the haunted house and she'll be good. So, I mean, we are giving back to the community. Definitely, you know. Yeah, free. You free candy. Free haunted house, free candy. Yeah. For the kids. Maybe scare a couple people. And some good times, good laughs. Uh -huh. This is the best haunted house you're going to find in somebody's home. No, free. I don't know about that, but I'd go as far as to say that I I'd haven't go. been. I've been. It's awfully lot. arrogant, and we haven't really researched that. I so. haven't researched it, but out of personal experience, I've been into three other haunted houses that are home haunted houses. Yeah. And none of them were to this to scale. That caliber. To this caliber. How many beers have we gone through? On this <laughs> yeah, we've been through uh, a lot of beer on this. We went through about three quarters of a bottle of vodka. Remember that night? Well, and some of your vodka. Yeah. Total, if you yeah. added what we drank from your bottle to the bottle I had, we drank in a bottle of vodka. Drank a bottle of vodka. Uh, we've been through two of those, like, Coors Light little keg cans you can put in your fridge. <laughs> yeah. A beer, a gallon and a half or a gallon. We've been through two of those. Uh, and countless 18 packs. Yeah, I think definitely. Countless six packs of, like, IPA stuff. Yeah, like. a couple of six packs of Guinness. Yeah. You know, all for yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the uh, creative juice gets flowing. Yeah, but I mean, shit, we've been working on this now for like almost four <laughs> weeks. Dude, and the Amanda's walls. Help. And Amanda's help. Amanda, 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 Amanda has slowed so, things down. Dude, the walls. To put all of the walls up, we had to go through and set eye hooks in the ceilings where we were going to drape walls down. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> we didn't really care about people's safety on this. That never went into play. Uh, it's yeah, an entry no, to run. That went lot. into play a lot of times with me and Lance yeah. working late nights. Yeah, trying to get lighting up. We had lighting that we had to secure with like uh, freaking metal, yeah. like metal tie pasty. strap, metal strap, you know. It's haunted. It's horrifying. But not. A death trap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not a death trap. The only way people die in this is if someone decides to walk through with a lit cigarette. That could be yeah, a problem. Yeah, that's, yeah. So, you know, obviously the person at the door will have to curb any of that. Heart conditions, that sort of thing. Yeah, people pregnant. on acid, probably not a good probably idea. Probably not a yeah. good idea. But, uh, the kids, yeah. all that, it'll work great. Yeah, the kids will, the kids will definitely love it. The adults will be scared too. Yeah, they don't know what they they're just thinking it's gonna be another. I don't think anybody thinks it's as detailed as no. it is inside. Have to get you in more on the behind the scenes deal. Getting the work on. Coming for some measurements on the freaking we're building the chain guy frame. Fuck yeah. With Larry's got two 60 pound bags of sand that he uses in the back of his truck. We're gonna use them to weight it down in the back on the frame cool. to help with the, being able to pull forward. Cool. He's like, I can spare them for Halloween night. And, you know, we'll bring them in today and test them to make sure it works all right and then fucking do it up. Yeah. The only thing we're gonna have to do is uh, put down like a towel or something on the floor, keep it from getting scratched by the two by fours. Yes, I agree. Other than that, it yeah. be good. What are we watching, Lance? Uh, some 3,000 miles to Graceland. Yeah, Excellent. that's a cool movie. I saw that. You know, you're about 50 inches away from sucking my dick. Is that an extension of your penis? <laughs> that's disturbing. Yeah. There you go. All right, here, hold this Steve Owen. I'll take a measurement. Well, Push it cause up. look, you don't want to block the fridge. Too, I know, I just know? want to get an overall measurement of how far between here and this wall right here. Okay. I'm thinking if we went four foot, that would give us 11 inches of leeway between there. We could go three, but then you're getting kind of cramped. Yeah, it just needs to be like right here. Like however far apart this is, is really how far it needs to be. <laughs> Take a measurement here between my like wrists. You're gonna be chained up high, yeah? Well, because not, then they're not. gonna come down. We can do it, yeah, kind of. High. So, yeah. I mean, you're gonna be in there, dude. You're right. gonna have your arms up for three hours. So I'm thinking that needs to be about three foot apart. Okay. Let's see. So we can build the frame about three foot me. apart. I'm thinking something about like that. Because I'll have enough slack in the chain yeah. that I can put them and, down. And that's you know up. like between two and a half and three. Yeah. It's like two foot nine inches, two foot eight inches. Yeah, so three foot probably wide it's at the pretty, top. 
and then four foot maybe at the bottom, you know. Yeah. You want to taper into them. Well, you want to come down this way too, so maybe like taper that. Are you part thinking out. we bring the frame back from two pieces down to a point, like a yeah, triangle? Yeah, not like quite a like a triangle. An A frame, an A frame, but like, like an A frame, yeah. Okay, so we have a base coming across straight like this, like a triangle base, if you will, with a pylon coming up from here at the back, at the point of it, up to a crossbar between two and standing then pylons. I'm five nine. My hands are gonna be up here. Six so. foot. Let's call it even six foot about five. six foot That's even. High. Yeah, maybe and have the chain drape a little bit. Yeah. yeah, so we need to cut our tall ones at okay. six. Okay. We might well, have to pour it out we'll of the have to yeah, either, yeah, I, I want to see if I can just wall her it, because I want it to be as tight as it can get. Well, dude, I've got a three quarter inch paddle bit right there. Right, you but I, that might be too loose. I'm trying to keep it tight, so maybe we can wall her. If it's too loose, it. we can tie a knot in the back of the chain. Yeah. It'll uh, stick. We got three feet per arm, and we only need like two and a half feet. I think that's going to be close, though, because I think it's only a half inch chain, so. I don't think it's going to fit. No. I, mean, it needs to be I didn't think it was Cause it need, yeah, because it needs to loosely come through clank, 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 you know? We yeah. want the sound. It's fuck cold out here, dude. We're in a hoodie. Yeah. yeah. I thought oh, it'd be yeah. easier to drill a small one. True Colorado. True Colorado. Layered up. So we're going to do like an A-frame on the ground, right? Like, shh, shh, shh. Little pylon coming up with a support up in the middle. Gotcha. And then we can weight down the back of the A-frame with a 260-pound bag. So I was thinking we could either like screw it like that. Mm -hmm. Or just have the one, but I don't know if that would. That would Two would probably hold it pretty good, and then you can do washers and drywall. Well, strips. dude, I was thinking knot. We tie a knot with a string on the knot so that we can pull the chains back. We got to be that has to be resettable. Remember, the guy has to be able to pull out and reset his own chains back through those holes so that they can clank out again. So we tie a knot in the back of the chain so that it stops when it hits the wood. We tie strings to the bottom of the knots that come down, come out about hip length through the sheet right there. So he can grab his own chain and pretty much reset them most of the way himself. Right. Right. Now if we do the holes big enough, we could probably do something like that. But we got two lengths, dude. Here, hold that up. That's only one length. We have another length to chain, don't we? No, we See? never cut this. Oh, we never cut yeah, this. But that's yet. fine. Okay, because we might be able to do it. Like hold this. it up. See, I think that's enough chain right there. Okay, hold it up at six foot. See, It'll be like this. You leave the chain slack like that, and then you go like that. Yeah, but the point was to hear like clank, clank, clank. You know, well, it doesn't really even clank that much. Oh, no. So maybe that is. But see, look. All this chain, yeah. we can use all this chain still. Yeah. We're not going to waste three foot of chain by having it back there. No, chains. no, no. That works so out So you fine. can have that, that second piece of chain, you can have it like close by. Because remember, one hand will be free. Um, one hand will be free so that I can uh, like act like I break it. Right. Yeah. right, right so right. you can have that extra piece of chain and just be like, you know. So, Smack it against the floor or something. I like the idea of doing this through the back then and not cutting the chain because it doesn't make the sound I thought it would make anyways, you know? So, 
why don't we do that and then we just won't have resettable slack. You just sit there with it. It'll be loop. Yeah, right it'll there. be slack just enough to where you can be like. You gotta think of the light though. Well, ah, oh, yeah, the light. We we're gonna rig the light pull. That's you can I'm, still we do can that. Still do that. To we just have to use a separate cord. And then when you do it, you just click it. Or just or it, or you manually. You can have it attached to the person's ankle, and they can manually like move their foot forward. It's not a bad idea. Cheek. So it's. It's yeah. not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not. We could do that too. That would work. I like that. That's the great thing it. about switches. Is tie that a fish line around, around the freaking ankle and just freaking with the fish line. Oh, I need some stronger than the fish line. Well, dude, how much? I got the same one. How much? I mean, maybe if we dump it, 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 it comes. Line, it know? comes with a string that's like strong enough. Pounds. Twenty yeah. pounds. It comes it's enough to give it a little. I mean, we could just loop it several times. Yeah, we to. can do a couple, like yeah. say four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it'll be that right. one. Before we get that screwed together though, yeah, we gotta cut these down, that's too long. I did cut them down, that's no. six foot. That's, oh, okay, that's coming up. That's not the A-frame on the bottom no. extending into the kitchen. Okay. That's okay. six foot coming up. Okay. I feel like fucking Bob Vila with the video camera over there, dude. No shit. <laughs> what are you working on there? Creating uh, some tubes that we're gonna roll up like that or so to tape to the nozzles of the fog machines because if the fog machines are too close to that plastic, poof. So we set them back like a foot, put a cone that extends from the tip of the nozzle out to a hole in the freaking into the sheeting there and it'll blow, blow the fog out the way we need it to go. The foot past this, so it'll be more like this. And you throw this back here, and then you can have that hidden behind the, the sheet. Well, how, where are we putting this? Isn't this all going behind the sheet? Well, yeah, you probably want to cover thing, it all up. The whole thing's going to be behind the sheet. We won't. We don't want any of that. So you won't see any of it at yeah. all. Okay, cool. So it wouldn't you be pulling from like front here? But you still want the weight back behind it. Yeah. So I mean, isn't this the back here? No. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the back where the back. Well, back behind, is the back, behind a sheet, it don't really matter if it's the front or the back. To be honest, but that's my basic. Idea like I figured this would be the back. The, the sheet would be because coming right here. here. Here's the sheet right yeah. here, and the guy's standing here like this well, in front well, of you. Just drill holes. You know, my whole thing was yeah. to have these braces in the front would make it to where when you pull down, the weight goes down this. Oh, way. I see. Because it's going to rock this way. It's going to be harder to rock it this direction than it is Into the this two direction. Fours. Yeah, because it's going to act like a freaking support when you pull that way. Well, I think, I mean, I think if it's that. weighted down, we should be all right. I mean, you can even yeah. move these in a little bit. We'll, we'll move it exactly. And you know, you will have to play with the chain and see how much room that's going to give chain guy. If chain guy is standing this far away from the holes, and he's chained up right here, that's going to be not as much play for uh, coming out. You know what I mean? Right. We're going to have to check that out. Well, that fucking worked like money. Thanks. Bam, right? So, fucking tube. We'll tape that down around the freaking nozzle. We'll have to see how hot that down. nozzle gets, though, because mm -hmm. it gets hot. Well, this is 4 mil plastic. It's pretty good stuff. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we can do it thicker if we need to, or if that's not going to work. We can figure out something. Maybe this. <laughs> right. So, let's call it's that. It's cardboard, though. Yeah, I don't know. Cardboard's just wall. as flammable as plastic. Two uh, what? What do I got here? Fuck, even better, Steve. I think maybe. I mean, my, my whole thought was that this was all going to be behind the plastic. Well, yeah, so we can do it. This, right. this, this whole thing's definitely behind the plastic. Whichever way we aim it, this whole thing but is see, behind the plastic. But see, that area goes back in it like this, so I figured right. you can still cover this up. It's just a pain no. in the ass to cover it because then, yeah. I mean. It's already done. We're done with the covering. This thing goes behind, and then we just cut slits right here for the chain to come through. Or if we aim it this direction, then 
Right. Right. I mean, but see, but that's my point is that shouldn't this go in the back? Because if you weight this down, no matter how hard you pull, it's not the airframe. It's not going to airframe. It's right. not going to do. That's cool. Yeah. We're, we're moving. Okay. Hold so. that. Just stick it on the outside. Just toenail it. Just outside it to outside, or inside to inside. You know, something like this. Okay. Exactly straight back. I know, but I'm gonna make it straight. He's saying this is three feet. I know that's three feet, but the base right there is not well, slightly bigger. It doesn't have to be like that, but we could. We I mean, know. Let's pull it in. Let's pull it in. See, like that. Let's pull it in. Yeah, a little more than three feet, slightly half inch. Just saying there. Then we just have a straight frame that's three yeah. feet by three feet. Yeah. All its measurements right coming on the way. A little more structurally sound. Should we go with the wider one or a skinnier one? Probably a wider one. Huh? Like just wide enough to hold the bags the same. We'll you use know? this piece. Freaking eight inches wide or so. We'll need your uh, your other saw for that. How wide is that piece? Thirty-nine. How wide is that one that's already over there? Okay, I'll use that other one. Well, here. What about this piece right here? How, like, why don't we cut this just piece and then we use this to lay the sandbags on? Yeah. Have to move that table downstairs. our babysitter for Halloween. Why? Amanda's brother in Kansas. Her dad died. So they might have a funeral to go to on like Sunday. If they do, then they, they gotta leave like Saturday. Come on this board. You should always wear your safety glasses. Right. <laughs> and cup protection. Put more weight on it. It probably worked better with that skinnier one across the barrel and back. I don't know. You know that? Dude, that's pretty good right there. This extra chain, we can cut in like three inch pieces and hang it so that when that fucker starts shaking, you get all that chain clanking going Get some chain clanking. See, but then you'll have chains here that are... Have some here, here, here. ...touching each other. Yeah. You know, do them like two inches apart so that one inch of each chain clanks on the next one. Yeah, make a little rattle out of it. That's not bad. Not enough. Another link. There's one. That's cool. That looked pretty good. Yeah. One more. Let's try one more. All right. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. You so, like that right there? That's a Alright, so, so why don't we screw this link in? Or we can take, like you were going to say, two links. Let's just go one. Alright, let's just go one link. We anchor this link in. Wow. Wow. We can Hey, why don't you use a washer on it? I'm in. <laughs> We're yeah, using the hard drive. Drop off if you want. You should right. be around. So. Yeah, I mean, I might be on the other <laughs> Cool, dude. So, right on, bro. Right. 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 So, you punch it right here so guy can have his wrists in but be able to get out too. It's up to you guys. And then, how much is that, you know? How much? A bracelet around the guy's hands where it looks like he's chained. Yeah. And then he can even just hold on to the actual chain. And it'll look like he's. Attached. Oh, that's true. That's true. That way you're not really even attached at all. Yeah. I don't know. It still looks. It'd look better if this was just like that, you know. And we because we can take the link we cut. We can take that link out because it's cut, and use it to reconnect these links yeah, right the here link and bend want. it shut. This is the link you know? we want. All right, so that's probably the one right there, right? So how many links is that that we need to add? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine links need to be added to the length. Yeah. All right, so let me see here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nine more links added. That makes this our security link right here. Exactly zero. Then you got, then you go to sixty. Oh, so ours was like if you had two ninety three and you you know got fifteen, then oh, you just stay two ninety three. Fuck another one of these heavy duty splitters. I got two strokes. Come check this shit out. You got strokes? Oh, I picked up a I gallon of frog juice. Cool. I got two mini strokes. What the ones you got? Nice work keeping those pinned in too with the screws so they don't fall off. Oh, whatever. Good fucking idea right there. There's a fine craftsman. I got called him today. He was at Buffalo Wild Wings at the bar with our homeboy Nate. Freaking. Nice. It's like, I need your freaking framing uh, expertise, my <laughs> man. What are you doing in a couple hours? So when they're coming, you just sit there going. You're going to have, here, this is about how much room you're going to have. Show me. Plastic in there. Show me. Rock it. He's coming, he's on the Rock it, dude, and see. You know, because you're going to have like this much space between the wood and then the plastic. It'll be like right here. So you don't want to rock it too forward or you'll fucking break through. Oh, no. No, it's fine. If it touches it a little bit, it's fine. Well, yeah, but you don't want to. Oh, see if you can put your arms together and be like. What, like this, like this kind of thing, like. Yeah, where you like now break this hand free. And then, uh, all these hit yourself in the face with the chain. But then it looks like you're like. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have much room to come out either, though. The hallway's right in front of you. You're gonna be right here. The hallway edge is like right here. So the people are gonna be right in front of you. Coming out even this far is gonna be fucking scary to them. You're just gonna be all up in their fucking face. Here, screw them in more. Hold them far. I'll just need to get it in there. This is a fucking close look. Here, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> Larry wants to have.
lift up on your end and I'll lift up on my end and then be careful of the light above. The lance can right. slide if it's under. Probably just poke through Here. the finger. Where where do you want the slit? You know what, we might want to tape these slits to reinforce them from both sides because it's tearing more as I drop the chain in there. And be careful, it's going to tear more. We should take that black tape and reinforce look, these. Dude, look, you take the plastic, you push from the other side and you staple around the deal. What about the black Gorilla tape? Like, re like making a grommet. So you just take you the make plastic like a to this, and if it moves a little, it moves a little. No, no, no. What I'm saying is right here, dude, when you drop your hey, chain through, it's tearing the, the fucking thing. You, you know what I mean? You're going to do what you want to do anyways. Yeah. <laughs> you got that right. You got that right. How do you get this shit for that? We could just screw it down to the floor. Yeah. Yeah, we, we could do that. That would be the cooler thing to do. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think drywall uh, buttle. You should be taping it from the other side. Both sides, dude, like a grommet. I guess. I'd just take two pieces of freaking tape and just either side on the hole and drill the hole it. through the plastic. I really don't plate. like this camera. It's fucking driving me nuts. <laughs> dude, I don't even notice it's there. I do. Of course, I always have Hold that back. feeling somebody's watching me, so. Except this time someone is watching <laughs> <laughs> This time it's not just paranoid delusions. What'd you pull it out for? So we can double tape it and cut through the tape. Jackass. To keep the freaking plastic from tearing. Get on this side of this one and high five me some plastic to it. Right here. Mm, you know jackass. what I mean? Jackass. Yeah, yeah the and then you cut the slit through the tape because the tape won't tear like this oh, cheap okay. plastic one. I gotcha. You see what I mean? Yeah. Do the other side too. Ah, he sees the light. No, I just don't think that part's necessary, but. That's the crazy part. You gotta build all this shit, but you gotta do it in mind so with the fact that you need to be able to also access your food. See, now we've right. got you a door there for you. Boy, this was one of the biggest hurdles that was left, guys, is getting this piece done right here. Oh. Look at Lance's gangsta ass wiring on the pull switch to make a light spotlight come on. He freaking MacGyvered it up, dude. It's like bubblegum toothpicks and bam, electrical connections. That's right, dude. <laughs> lots of thinking juice, cold beer. Yeah. I'm gonna try to escape, but I'm gonna need, what's he say? A rope, a gun with no bullets, some bullets. <laughs> <laughs> and a roll of duct tape. There's nothing you can't do. Yeah, duct tape does it all, dude. This gorilla tape I, I got, gorilla tape we found is even out of it. Yeah. The gorilla tape is even stronger than the duct tape. This stuff, like, you could do eyebrows with this or something, that'll rip some hair out. Rip some fucking pubes. Just yeah. Puts it. Yeah. <laughs> This I did in high school right here. Come on. It sucked out at it in high school. Here, get that in. I was just going to cut this tape. Just rip it. And then just do that other side. It's going the wrong way. Yeah, that should be facing a little more forward. It's 
Well, the sad thing is, is I could lose my license for this. I'm Don't tell people you got a license. I'm supposed on camera, to know better. Dude. Yeah, well, Sammy's we'll going to edit out. that part out, or yeah. he's going to be editing my foot from his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep that part in if you want. How are you hanging your light now? Yeah, we're going to have to affix it to what do you think? To the top of this frame? Maybe. Or That's maybe. The only way. Or are you thinking maybe like right here we do. Another 2x4 off the back of this that comes up just a couple of inches so the light's higher. I got a couple ideas going for Let's the light. I just got to see the actual light. Yeah. We'll have no, this puppy mounted in no time. Flood, flood shroud, floodlight with a clip. Like a clamp. Now, there. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that goes on the outtakes reel. <laughs> light come up through. Of course, if it's too hot of a light, you don't want to near this shit at all. Yeah, yeah. So knowing what kind of light it is changes our options. Yeah. It's probably going to be the kind that... Gets well, hot I, as fuck and has to be six feet away from all this shit. But here's shit. the thing, this, this particular scare, right, you're only turning the light on for maybe five seconds, ten seconds, they go through kick it back off and get back in position, you know? Yeah. So you'd be running it for maybe 20, 30 seconds out of every minute or two. Not even that much. You know? So it might not even get that hot to, for it to be a problem. That's one thing we got to keep an eye on, eye on, fire safety with this shit. Yeah, but we're not using this light to just illuminate the hallway or nothing. The no. only thing this light gets used for is the scare, mm -hmm. period. Yeah. I can just picture like the first time going, <laughs> you, you're scared and you're like, oh shit, and like the whole thing knocks over and you break the chain out of the freaking kicker and <laughs> the whole thing is just going, boom. It falls down. over, sparks, the <laughs> light bulb breaks, catches all this plastic on fire. <laughs> Hi, this is, uh, what's this your is, face? This is me leaving for Mexico, no. never to return. Uh, a haunted house turned into a house of horrors tonight as it <laughs> was engulfed in flames, killing five people and injuring 12. Yeah. They always say the injuries. Anything to the light. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way to go. That, that really does uh, maximize the scare. Uh-huh. It's good. And we weighted it down with two 60-pound bags of sand, so it's got 140 pounds better. It's just us. Oh, it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, why aren't, we, why aren't you doing that? You should have done that forever ago. The hopper fill. Maybe I should do that. We got the chain tie wire. Okay. I can just stand at the very end. I guess that's the bonus of being small. All right, I'm good, Sam. <laughs> Are you filming again? I don't know. 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 I don't Oh, you did? Yeah, they're like, nice special effects. Come on, you can play. Alright. Come on, that's alright. That's alright. Criticism won't happen. Wait, what happened? The sun's gonna be behind those mountains in like 15 minutes, and that won't be a problem. Oh, that was. Went pretty well. Yeah. Well, that was good. Screamish. They were. Lance, that is a hairy monster. <laughs> Don't call it Wolverine. Oh, no. Last year it came out. I was a little upset about that. <laughs> Look, you're a Wolverine for Halloween. 
Yeah, see this right here, guys? This is what haunted housing is really like when you work in the real deal. Sit around. It's like when there's not people no, coming through, it's not you get together with your homies. Oh, yeah, the You're getting thing. up with your friends in the haunted house, all the people within like five stairs of you, and you sit there bullshit until people come. And then it's like the mad book back to your spot. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you probably didn't it. Yeah, I'm sure I did. <laughs> Before you go to the haunted house, you're welcome. Go to say. I like did my thing and I was like all scary and I was waiting for them to like go by and they just stopped and I was like, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> I shook a little bit and I'm like, ah! And they just stayed there so I, I did. I stepped back and I went, click. <laughs> I saw that. I, put, I, kept, I was watching on that one. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. you came across alive, but wow, it's just saying. Cool. I screamed. I said hi to some dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that one, or that one, or that one. Yeah. <laughs> I just like walked up past him and I'm just like, hi. <laughs> was it fun? Cool. You guys like that? Yeah. That, was cool. yeah. that is awesome. Tell your friends. Glad tell other like people. It. That Where is you? awesome. Thank That's you. Right. Neat. Happy Halloween, guys. Be safe. <laughs> Great. Maybe we can do it again, huh? Yeah, sure. Definitely here. When they were, when they come running out that last call screaming, it's that's good. awesome. It's yeah. good. It's good Did stuff. they do that this time? Yeah. Are they getting? Are you getting them good on that deal? I are we the right? Mom, that's good. Nice. I came walking because nice. I went. I was. Sitting, I came up. Like I came in right as they were doing. Jim, so I walked up right behind him. Oh, yeah. I know. I saw you. I was like, "Do I see your hand? Is that crazy?" Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then you, you could smile at me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dominic. Hi. That's pretty good. <laughs> Let me get the picture of you, of the three of you. Mommy, get close to Lynn. Mommy, wait, wait, wait. No, go, go there. We gotta go to the party. Come on. Well, hold on, let me take a picture. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't have my hat on, but I still wasn't scared. Very good. Alright, thanks and a lot, guys. And I already know in the back. Happy Halloween. <laughs> What's up, man? I don't like that change, but that change is definitely a little bit. I saw the guy with the change coming out. I'm like, oh, that's what? Yeah, I've seen that. 